Yeah, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you are a subscriber, if you're not, make sure you subscribe. But what I'm going to do in this video is let's talk a little bit about fog in Blender. You can use fog for nighttime scenes. You can use fog for daytime scenes. It all depends on what you want to use it for. But I thought I'd just talk a little bit about it, how to use it, how to create it. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to bring up a scene. So open recent. And I've got a scene here, okay? And let's go here, and you can see. So I'm in EV, this works in cycles too, but I'm just gonna use EV so that we can view it uh, easier, quicker. So let's go back to layout. So this is a scene, okay? So if I go here, boom. Simple scene, very easy. Kind of looks a little bit like blue hour, sunset, you know, that kind of scene. Now we wanna get some fog here because if I go here, you can see it doesn't look that great. You want to add a lot of fog. You want to make it look a bit more realistic. So how do we do that? Let's go to shading. So before you go to shading, what we can do is you want to create something to put the fog in or that's used to create the fog. So we're going to use a cube. So you're going to go shift A, mesh, cube. And you can see there. Now I go S and we scale it up to above the scene. Something like that. So if I go here, you can see it covers the whole scene. Perfect. Now let's go to shading. So click shading and then hit new with the cube selected. What you want to do is I'm going to go to camera view. And you can see it's obviously dark. So you can click on the principal BSDF. You can delete it. Then go shift A, mesh, and type in volume. And we're going to get a principal volume. And what you're going to do is plug the volume into the volume of the material output. You can see it gives us that nice volume. You know, we use it for those kind of cinematic scenes. I use this a lot, but you can see it's a bit too thick and it's just, it covers the whole scene. You want to make it look a little bit more realistic. So how do we do that? You can obviously bring the density down to 0 0.1. And you can see there, now we've got something like this. Okay, which is also not too bad. Well, we can make it a little bit better. We can just make it look a bit more realistic. So what we do is go shift A, type in noise. You want to get a noise texture. Okay. And then click on noise texture and press control T. And this brings in the load wrangler add-on. If you don't have it, click edit, preferences, add-ons, and just type in node and enable node wrangler. Okay. What you want to do now is plug the object into the vector and then if I plug the fact into the density you can see it pretty much looks pretty much exactly the same you can bring your detail all the way up and then it's very thick okay and this looks a little bit better but it's too thick now so if I've got a camera how do we basically just make it look a bit better it's, it's pretty easy what we're going to use is a color ramp so shift a type in color Get a color ramp, and we're going to plug it in like that. Okay. And now, watch here. So if I bring this black value, let me just zoom in. If I bring this in like this, you can see it changes the fog. Okay, and if I bring the white in, same thing. So this allows us to play with it. If you, let's go back to the black. If you click on the white, and you bring this down, so you get something like that. And now this looks a little bit better. So it just gives you a bit more control over the, the amount of fog. So you can go here, you can bring this all the way in, so click on it. Go ahead and bring the black, something like that. Or you can bring it all the way back, make it less thick and you can bring the black in and it makes less of it. Okay, so like that. And then you can obviously play with the scale. Same thing. And the detail up, you can bring the roughness up. And it just makes it a bit thicker. So not all scenes are going to use the exact same settings. You know what I mean? You can, you'll have to play around with it until you find something that you like. And then what is cool about this is it allows you to change. The node wrangler allows you to change. This allows you to change the rotation. 
scale, same thing, it allows you to make it bigger. I wouldn't play with the scale. If I was you, I would play with the rotation and the location of your fog. But you can see, this looks a lot nicer, and you can see if I go to cycles, it still works in cycles. If I go here, you can see it's now nice and thick, so you'll have to then bring this up. Something like that, and bring this somewhere like that, and you can see, bring this up, so click on it, boom. And if we bring it all the way down, you can see there, now it's not as thick. You can see now if I walk, if I move around here, that's how it looks. So in Eevee, you can see it looks a bit better, you can see like that, but yeah, what, what I thought I would do is just, just to explain to you how to use it, you know, like I said, not all scenes are going to be exactly the same. You can change this to 4D. And then you can play with this, so you can go like that. Just randomize it, and then same thing here, you can bring this in more. And it looks pretty nice. You know, if I go here to camera, it looks decent. You know, obviously you can add more lighting, you can play around with that kind of thing, but yeah, it's just, I'm just showing you how to add that nice fog, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully you learned something. It's just, yeah, you could always just, if you don't want the fog and you don't want, you want it to be kind of filled exactly the same the whole way. You don't need all this. You just throw on a principal base, principal volume, plug it in to the tier output. You don't need all this stuff. So if I just click there, just leave it like that. That's also fine. And you can play with your density. This just allows you to have a bit more control. So if I go here, the color, boom, and then it allows you to play with this. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this video helped you. And yeah, feel free to check out Blender Kit. Link in the description. Check out the Patreon. And yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Peace.